Hey guys, Ogs here from the US. Thank you for watching. I am trying hard not to talk about David Lewis, but this is the topic of the moment. I can't do anything else. It's keep coming. And in Frank's um, press conference, he was asked a lot of questions about David Lewis, but in general, he was very precise, short, sweet, right to the point. He said that they have they had a conversation man on man face to face and they had to tell the truth each other and we don't know exactly what uh, he told david lewis and david lewis said no i have another opportunity at uh, arsenal and i would like to move on and frank and the club say if that is your will you can go so kind of granted his will instead of Frank Lampa firing him or whatever I heard he's just telling him the truth that you're not gonna be um, always uh, number one on this sh on the sheet if you don't want to work on your defensive phase and Frank and uh, you know Louise he has some ego too because he he been in trouble with almost every manager, Moreno, Conte, Sarri at the beginning, you name them. And now it's Frank Lampard and they fall out with uh, Emery at PSG. That's why he left back to Chelsea. So yeah, he might look very friendly, good guy in public, but he also got some ego and always want to prove people wrong so that's why he's kissing arsenal badge now and calling chelsea small club anyways uh he's gone and now it's time for us to look forward and we'll be fine and we'll find another david Luiz in the future or even better than him so it's all good it hurt but it is what it is we have to accept it Another question to Frank Lampard was about the Kalium Haston Odoi contract situation. And as usual, he always said that he doesn't know. He would like him to stay, the club want him to stay, but the rest of that is not in his hands. But of course he will say that because he doesn't want to just reveal it. He want the club to do the procedure and the rest. So he was seen today at Cobham with a suit, you know, from the training ground Cobham. And uh, supposedly that was just to confirm his last signature to the contract and he should be unveiled very soon. I'm sick and tired of this. I made already like three videos talking about how much uh, Hassan Aldo is going to sign tomorrow and blah 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 and even yesterday I was thinking that he will sign on the transfer day um, so they can just give like fans something to to enjoy but yeah it's getting boring man I don't even care about the boy anymore he comes good he doesn't come as good because guess what we have plenty of money in the bank baby we have money in the bank and as soon as this stupid window window uh, ban is over we are going to be all over chelsea are going to buy the top of the top that will be available at that time i'm preparing another video about who really we can go for after the ban because the ban could be suspended in January. We don't know what's gonna happen with the appeal, but guess if we are just banned for one window that we already served. So if they they allow us to sign in January and you don't perform or you continue your antic, guess what? We are going to get Sancho. We are going to boom, 100 million Sancho come to to Chelsea he won't say no he's a Chelsea fan a London boy he will come to Chelsea we're going to Leon Bailey here 60 million we got him David Neres 
60 million we got him so i don't care if you don't want to sign buddy i respect you but the club is bigger than you so i will always uh, accept what my club says instead of you an individual next piece of news is frank lampard was asked about the youth and about how the media and if everybody kind of play us down because of our transfer ban and and working with a lot of youngster and he was like it's good i'm listening to the radio every single day it's kind of make me laugh because i like the challenge i like them to take us that way you know and i want to surprise people all we have to do is walk and prove people wrong is a good challenge to have so he he went to say that he knows those youngsters can do it they have quality but he doesn't know their ambition he can't judge anybody's ambition but Frank Lampard's ambition is to win something and to get to top four. No matter what, no matter the situation is, the band or youngster or not quality or whatever, he doesn't care. He want to win something. He want to get to the position that Chelsea deserves. But the question now is that are those players ready? Are they feeling the same way, the same fire, the same passion that Frank Lampard? If, if yes... They can do it. If they doubt themselves, they won't be able to do it. Because Frank Lampard won't make them do it. He will just encourage them and give them a platform to do that. But the rest is up to them. So I really love that answer. And hey, this is your chance. Everybody's chance now. You have a blank check. Perform or you are out my club after the transfer ban. Thank you for watching.